Leo, what's up, Leo? What's up? What's up, Leo? What's up for my Leo? Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and North. You know, baby. Who the guy that came out? So I cut it on the goddess of the moon. So I'm getting your intuition is on point, okay? And I also feel like I saw the um creativity card. So your your intuition is on point. You're creative. Yeah, you and your you in this creative energy here. And we got the yin to the yang here. You could be coming together with your twin flame. Okay, that's twin flame energy, yin and yang. That's what's going on. Okay, yeah, I'm getting yeah. Corner copy of here. I feel like you and your um yeah one yeah eleven eleven. You and your twin. You could be getting ready to come together with your twin flame here, and you guys are going to create something that's going to that's going to lead to a lot of um financial wealth and abundance here. Okay, let's see what's going on here for my Leo Sun Moon Rising Venus Moon no for Leos. I feel the energy. The energy is definitely has shifted. Like Leos, <laughs> I collect the reads. We was going through it in the collective readings, okay? It was not looking good. We was going through some struggles and going on, okay? In them collective reads. Now, I see the energy shifting for a lot of y'all, okay? You're stepping into a new season of your life, okay? Things are changing for the better. Look when I said it. Things are changing for the better. We got, look at the door to value, huh? the money vault, baby. The door is opening here, Okay? Yeah, God, you know it too. Got it to the moon. You know this. Get into the money. All really need is the money. Yeah. I got bags at the coop. Woo. Busting out the roof. Woo. Yeah, I'm, what I told you, baby. Look at her. Somebody could be 31. So I feel like you waited a long time for this. I feel like the doors are finally open. I feel like God is opening his um store gates to heaven and he's raining, raining blessings, some type of blessings upon you. Okay. There is um no limit. To your money okay i feel like your money is getting ready to grow it's getting ready to increase okay that's what i'm getting here be careful because somebody is trying to deceive you here somebody knows that you coming into some money or your money is increased here somebody knows that you're, you're somebody very very you can also be somebody who's very valuable um the talent the gifts you have the knowledge you have somebody may see you as value here as very valuable to help make to make them money somebody want to make money off you so they may be somebody may be um kind and very deceit i'm getting seven of swords energy though this may be somebody that is a um shysty businessman or something like that Okay, so somebody see you as a lick, and they see you as okay, somebody they can profit off of, so be careful, don't let nobody play with your energy, or play with you, okay, somebody's not, they don't, they, they, they're not honest, they don't have integrity, you don't have to worry though, because you're connected to the most high, you're connected to spirit, spirit gonna let you know whatever you need to know, so definitely through your intuition, listen to your intuition as well, because you're gonna be put up on game, so the door to spirit is opening for you here, you could be seeing white orbs of light, Little oracle balls, like them little white um lights. Those are spirit. That spirit that's around you here. I feel like yeah, spirit is definitely connecting with you at this time here. Okay, so you are connected to spirit. What? Wow, your crown chakra. So this is definitely a lot of spiritual energy here. This is definitely you being connected to the spiritual realm. So somebody trying to deceive you, that's not going to work. Okay, somebody trying to get close to you because they want they want to be a part of your your your. They want they want your blessing or they want your money. They want what you got coming. It's a no. Okay, somebody is alive. They can't be trusted. <clears throat> yep, I feel like somebody is a warlock. Period. Okay, yeah, this is your crown chakra. Your crown chakra is open. You are connected. You are somebody that's connected to the divine. Period. So you would not be deceived. They might well not even try. Not even try. <clears throat> See how much I miss with your crown chakra. <clears throat> okay. We got four chakra, our angel Raphael here. This is the four chakra, our angel Raphael. Let me see. 38. So love and compassion. Raphael extends a beautiful green energy surrounded by pink gentle waves to your heart center. The card upright indicates that you have you now have a great a greater readiness to receive love from others as well as from yourself. It also indicates that a much needed healing from a previous broken heart is taking place. The tender vibrations of Raphael remind you to encourage yourself with the compassionate self-talk that you desire to hear from others. Know that as you do, the light from your heart center will shine with an irresistible beauty, and the universe will send people in situations that cause your sense of love and support to grow and grow. So period. So, like I said, um, we got four chakra, our angel Raphael. Um, our angel Raphael is helping you heal your heart. Your heart chakra is opening here. 
okay you're healing your heart i feel like your heart is coming from a genuine place a, a place of love a place of support even though you've been hurt you still giving love to other people i feel like this love that you put out into the universe is putting you on this money frequency i feel like you you are you being put on this frequency where a lot of um abundance is coming towards you you're like a money magnet you're attracting a lot at this time here okay you're somebody who very value you're somebody very valuable here yeah, angel of love. I told you, you got fake love that's trying to come towards you. Be careful because people see you getting money or they see you finna come into some money or they see you as somebody, that, like I said, who's valuable and somebody, people trying to deceive you. There's somebody just trying to deceive you here and come show you fake love with angel of love here. I feel like somebody's trying to play on your top, period. Somebody knows that you're somebody who's very loving. You're very giving. You will give to anyone or anybody here if you don't, if you got it. It ain't nothing that you won't give if you got it. Okay, you'll give somebody to shut off your back. And I feel like somebody's trying to take advantage of you because you're so loving here. Yeah, magician. I told you you're a skilled magician here. You're able to manifest whatever you want. Okay, you're very magical. Okay, you could do a lot of, you could do some sort of um, fire magic or some sort of um, water magic here. But you're powerful. You have all the necessary tools and skill set that you need to get what it is that you want. You're very wise. Okay, and we got the man holding the heart. Okay, that's like the king of cups energy. So you have a seven of swords energy here that's trying to deceive you. Showing you fake love here. Like I said, this could be a community of people here. Who? Wow. You got a, a, a community of people, whether it's the neighborhood you stay in or the city you from, the state you from, whatever. You got a community of people here that's jealous of these people envy you. They envy you because you're highly protected and you're connected to the divine. You're blessed. And they feel like you you get what you want or how they wonder how you do what you do because you're connected to the you're connected to source. That's why you're never lacking. When you're connected to source, you never lack. Okay? You won't always have. Okay. And then there's a king of cups here. Scorpio energy here. Somebody who has love for you. Okay. Somebody who wants to give you love. That's like the king of cups energy. Scorpio energy here. Then you have a Gemini Libra Aquarius here who's a liar. I feel like these are two different energies. Somebody could be 31, 38, 49, 32, 53, 41, 45. Yeah, I'm telling you, all of a sudden, it's just going to come in. I'm telling you, all of a sudden, I'm getting, you got boo, I'm, I'm getting, you got boo cool money coming in. Boo cool money, baby. All of a sudden, it's going to happen out of nowhere. It's just a tower. This could be in the next 24 to 40 hours. You got an opportunity coming here. But this is going to hit you out of nowhere. All of a sudden, I'm getting an influx and pay an influx in your money. All of a sudden, this money just pouring in. It's just raining. <laughs> yeah, I'm getting the burdens are getting ready to be lifted here. I'm getting if you if you've been um having a hard time, you got a lot of I feel like you've been putting in a lot of work. You know what I'm saying? You somebody who work hard. You work hard, you've been putting in a lot of work, you're tired, you keep going and going, and you just have confirmation. You keep going and going and going, and you're tired. You're tired of you like when when I'm gonna have that big break, when it's gonna be my turn. I feel like you sit around and watch everybody have their turn. Now is yours to get that blessing here. Nine of cups, your wishes are coming true. It's being fulfilled here. You finna be living comfortable, lavish, <laughs> nothing to worry about here. And you finna be comfortable here. Yeah, the burdens are being lifted off of you here. I'm telling you, I feel like also you could have had a heavy heart. A lot of things weighing on your heart. You're releasing that. And that's what, that's what got this blessing coming in here. You finna be living lavish. Yeah. See, there's somebody coming towards you who's a fool. Somebody think you a fool. Okay. They think you a fool. They think you're going to go for it. It could be an Aquarius, like I said, Jim Not Libra Aquarius. It could be an Aquarius that want to come towards you and, and, and have something new or have a fresh beginning. It's a no. Somebody think you're a fool. They're a fool. They're a goddamn fool. Because you ain't going for it. Yeah. Because somebody's been looking into you. Okay. They see that you're somebody who's very loving. Somebody's trying to. You know, somebody's been trying to monitor you. Look into you. Could also be a. Um, a Virgo. But I feel like you're very wise. 
you gonna know what's up. Yeah, wow, the door to spirit here. Okay. So you're very excited at this time here. You got travel coming towards you. Okay. For some of you guys, your gift may be upgrading. You may be um beginning to astral travel as well. Wow, here. Yeah, you're very fine. Okay, sexy baby. Yeah. We got the page of the page of cups. So I feel like spirit is letting you know that you got a magician coming towards you. Somebody's a player, period. I'm telling you. And they come in to give you this fake. Somebody, I'm telling you, spirit is putting you up on game on somebody here. It could be a Sagittarius or a Pisces here. Okay, somebody's putting you up on game. Somebody's a player that was in and out of your life that was very wish-washy. Somebody could even ghost at you. You gave somebody a lot of love and they ghost at you or something like that here. Okay, Virgo energy. You was very loving and caring to somebody and somebody took you for granted. And they think you're a fool or they think you're gullible or something. And they're very in and out, in and out. Somebody is on some hot boy type shit. Yeah, and they, they coming in with some sort of fake apology. Or thinking they're going to love bum you or something. Somebody, this person is very rebellious. They take, they're very risky. They take risks. They're very child, very childish, immature, immature energy. Somebody who's emotionally immature, very childish. Okay. Like I said, your wishes are being fulfilled. Don't, you don't, don't settle for this person or don't take this person. You got something else coming in here. With the not with the nine of cups and the lovers, a very fulfilling relationship. And I'm getting the sex is gonna be great. The sex is on point. I'm getting making love. I'm sorry, I'm making it skirt. <laughs> that thing they're gonna make it skirt, baby. That thing is on point. Somebody could be missing you or they this, this person's missing love. Your crown chakra here. Wow. Look how beautiful that is. Yeah. Somebody want to reach out to you. It could be somebody from your past. Okay. They think about you. They dream about a life with you. What it would be like to be with you. To be in something long term. So somebody want to reach out to you here. Okay. Somebody from the past, they want a relationship, they want kids with you. Yeah, somebody want to come towards you. Yeah, but I feel like you are guarded to having a new beginning with somebody here. Okay, this is community here. Okay, so we got a king of cups. So that's what the talk is out. So the king of cups are here twice. So there's a lot of talk in the community about a king of cups. Okay, a lot of people are talking about, this could be, like I said, this could be a Scorpio. A lot of people are talking about Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. Yeah, about somebody having a family. Okay, so the Knight of Pentacles here. Two of Wands. So there's a, so there, yeah, okay. So there is a lot of talk in the community about somebody planning to go towards a person here for a long-term commitment. Yeah. Yeah. Somebody's walking away from a situation. Somebody's walking away from somebody. Yeah, in the past, somebody was unwilling to make a choice in the past here. Yeah, so in the past, somebody walked away from an empress. Somebody walked away from an empress in the class, past, and they planned on, and they and they went to some sort of commitment here, some sort of relationship, started a family or something that, that ain't going nowhere. It's something like that. That's what these people are talking about, something that's not going anywhere. Somebody walked away from their empress here, okay? So somebody walked away from you from the past that was unwilling to make a choice or decision about you. Let's see what's going on here. Let me get one. But these community of people are jealous. It could be a community of people that convinced this person to walk away from you. A community of... I'm getting a, a group of bitches. I'm really getting that. It's a group of jealous hoes who do not want this person talking to you because it was real love here. But I'm getting... You got... Yeah, this person... They told... Yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's hostility. You had options. Okay, they mad. Now they're mad because you have some sort of victory here. You overcame all the slander and all that bullshit. Okay. He go, he go with these jealous hoes. 
all up in your business, trying to tell. I don't know if this on my name business. Yeah, I told you. Now they ass broke. These motherfuckers try to interfere in your love life or get somebody to not talk. It's a group of bitches. Try to get somebody to not talk to you, to leave you out in the cold, to go in a different direction. Now all these bitches broke and struggling, okay? And they mad. They envy you and they mad. Yeah, they jealous. I can't make it up. These hoes jealous. Envy you. They jealous as fuck. Yeah, because you're enlightened, okay? Period. Yeah, because somebody want to somebody wanna bring you an offer. And they mad. They want to sabotage you so bad because they jealous. Because they feel like there's a king of cups that want to bring you. It could be a Scorpio that want to bring you an offer or, or a Gemini or a Pisces. Somebody want to bring you a love offer. Okay, anyway. That's what I have for you. Don't get to like, comment, subscribe. Bye, you guys.